Danielle Smith. Thank you so much, Bruce. Well, uh, as Will pointed out to me, I, I might I might be edged out by our, our royalty here, our rodeo princess, as well as our uh, First Nations princess. Give them a round of applause as well. And I have to tell you, the Stetson Band this morning, weren't they just incredible? Thank them for the work that they're doing. They have a pretty busy stampede. And of course, Blues Whack. So great to see you guys here. Thank you for the work you're doing. I want to welcome everybody to the annual Premier Stampede Breakfast. So great to see so many of you here this morning. And I'm especially glad to be joined by so many U.S. dignitaries and special representatives today. I was just uh, working the service line with the U.S. Ambassador to Canada, David Cohen. And we're also so fortunate as well to have Alaskan Governor Mike Dunleavy, who is joining us this morning. We've got representatives from Montana, Washington, North Dakota, Alabama, Illinois, Michigan, Oklahoma, and Rhode Island. So this is really putting our best foot forward. No kidding. Isn't that great? So we've got about a dozen U.S. elected officials, a cabinet secretary, and two deputy secretaries here today. So a special thanks to our southern neighbors for joining us at the greatest outdoor show on earth. They all know better when they show up next time because we always put them to work. So they were, they're, they're good sports about it. Um, their efforts are, are so appreciated, and I appreciate the fact that they were willing to volunteer. And that includes my MLAs and cabinet ministers who've also pitched in to serve breakfast. They'll be milling about in the crowd, so make sure you say hi to them as well. Uh, as we all know, I mean, Todd Lowen is the grill king in our caucus, and we all know that you actually have to be able to get trained up for this, because it's really important, especially this time of year. And that is the tradition that we honor today. All around the city, people are coming together at pancake breakfasts and barbecues to celebrate the greatest outdoor show on earth, and it is hard to overstate how much this means to Calgary. For well over a century, it has been one of the most unique and colorful cultural events in the world. The Stampede is not only a street party, it's an agriculture fair, a music festival, a celebration of Indigenous history, a trade show, the world's most famous rodeo and chuck wagon races. It is all of these things and so much more. It's the heritage and soul of Alberta shared with everyone who lives here and anyone who visits. The Stampede has been central to Calgary's identity for its nearly its entire existence and people might find it surprising that a 10-day party is one of the things that Calgary is best known for, but it's because this is a town that is famous for its grit and its hard work. The relentless drive has shaped Calgary into one of Canada's most important economic centers. But the stampede fever that grips the city every summer proves that Calgarians, we know how to let loose too, because stampede doesn't just bring Calgarians together, it draws people from across the province, across the country, and from around the world. Over 10 days, we're expecting more than a million people to attend this event. And every one of them will experience exactly what it makes, what it takes to, to make Alberta such a, pla a great place to visit and an even better place to live. Calgarians are welcoming, hardworking, genuine, and of course, always up for a good time. So this year, each one of you helped to ensure that Stampede got off on the right foot. I'm tremendously proud of the way Cal Calgarians came to together during the recent waterline break. You all look great now that you've had a chance to shower regularly over the last few days. It also includes the technicians and city officials and repair teams who worked around the clock to solve the issue with a little help from our U.S. friends, the San Diego County Water Authority. And of course it includes Calgary residents who, truly, you guys are awesome. You, you, you took a, a bad situation and made sure that you didn't turn it into a crisis, so I appreciate you all chipping in. This community-mindedness is one of the characteristics that defines Calgarians, and we have seen countless examples of it over the years. Now, whether you're a longtime Calgarian, a newcomer, a visitor, I sure hope that this stampede is memorable for you. Thank you all for coming out. Happy stampede. Let's do it one more time on three. One, two, three. Yahoo!